Holy cow. Welcome to Chris BI. My name's Chris Wagner. That's Dax down there. Today we're talking about Power Automate and the first Power Automate that I did for myself professionally that I got running and I love it. It was amazingly easy to do. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. But before we head down to my desktop to, show, to go into it, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and heck, even turn on that alarm bell so you don't miss any of this future content, all right? Uh, me, I would appreciate it. I know Dax appreciates it because every time I get a sub, I give him a cookie. Uh, you know, he just absolutely loves it each time I toss him a bone because there's another person who subscribed. So thank you, subscribers. Uh, let's get let's add a little weight to Dax. He's a little skinny, so... Uh, Thank you so much. All right, let's head over to my desktop. Wow. Okay, so here, Power Automate, for those of you who aren't aware, there's some free components of Power Automate you can totally use as long as you have an M365 license. Uh, you can just go in and use this. Otherwise, there's some paid, paid subscriptions. Uh, other videos will tell you more about that stuff. That's not me. I want to just give you an update on how you could use this if you're you know, work in the data space and just get started with this. Um, if you've used Power Automate before, leave a comment down below on your favorite uh, components because it's it's amazing to me, all right? So uh, for, for those of you who are new to Power Automate, let's zoom in and show you how you get started. Head over to make.powerautomate.com. If you have a license, it'll automatically let you in. If not, there's a little sign up and stuff like that, but it's pretty easy. All right, and you're gonna like get started here. And as you can see, Microsoft has just released like start building your flow with Copilot. This is an amazing new feature that's that's rolling out. And honestly, there are other people who do videos on this stuff all the time. Go see their videos. Uh, it's some crazy cool stuff. I'm not gonna get into it. I'm just gonna show you some of the cool features inside of Power Automate, okay? So on the side, a bunch of different things like, you can see your approvals, you know, because you can build up flows as for approvals and stuff like that. Here's a list of all the flows that you've got, uh, you, that you've created. Uh, looks like I created some that was from some template someplace. I didn't know I'm going to do it, but okay, hey, great. You can even go in and create something like from scratch, right? You can just go in and use that, or you can use these templates. And it's the templates that I really want to focus in on as as uh, where to go, okay? So to find the template that, that I, I used to get started, I just typed on notify me on Teams when, you know, so notify me on Teams when, and I'll hit enter, and I'm gonna get this one, all right? So it's notify me on Teams when I receive an email with a negative sentiment, okay? Now, this is amazing how this works, because. What it's going to do is every email, every time an email comes in, AI is going to kind of look at it and see if there's something negative in it. Like, hey, you forgot to send an attachment, or I got to cancel a meeting, or uh, you're a doofus, or something like that. I don't know exactly how it works. It's AI, right? So I click on it. First thing it's going to do is it's going to take me into like the template. It's going to ask for some information for me. Okay, so uh, now this is a little, little off because it's, I have different accounts, so please ignore that. I'm not really set up for this stuff. But you're going to need to authenticate uh, yourself here. Most of the time, it's going to be all the same uh, email addresses. But in this case, I'm using my Chris.Wagner at Expert PC Pros, as well as my Data God at Kratos BI um, email address. Okay. Basically, what this is saying is watch this account over on uh, Kratos BI and notify, or what we're gonna do is notify Chris.Wagner at XP per, Expert PC Pros when something like this has occurred, okay? Pretty cool, huh? So go ahead, go ahead, uh, continue. And you might have had to like click on each one to authenticate them. It is super easy. It's like click, authenticate, click, authenticate, right? Real easy. Okay, there's a couple changes you have to do here, right? So uh, on the first box here, we're going to be clicking on show advanced options. I'm going to enter that. And here's where we're going to be putting in what email address do we want this flow to be watching. So in this case, I want Datagon. All right. So that's the email that I want uh, addressing. So, okay. It's going to be watching this one. Now I'm going to kind of scroll down and I want you to 
uh, understand what's happening here. Okay, so uh, what's first happening is it's going to be watching the email as it comes into the the, uh, the data guide email address. Next thing it's going to do, it's going to take that information, it's going to convert the body of the email into text, okay? And this is really going to like uh, uh, really just grab the first 5,000 characters. Here, I'll zoom in. Okay, grab the first 5,000 characters and and add that into a substring. Again, you, you didn't see me code any of this, right? You don't have to code any of it, right? I'm just explaining it for you. Then it's going to take that content and figure out, is it positive, is it negative, what is going on here? Then it's gonna connect into your profile, and then it's gonna like go to send this to you. Well, I only wanna get stuff if the uh, input is negative, right? So uh, I don't know how best see this, but you can kind of see, uh, can't do it when I zoom in, but it's only gonna select the negative stuff, right? So it's uh, negative sentiment in text, right? So if that comes through, I need to send this over to, and here's a change, okay? This is gonna send the recipient of this message. Right now, it's gonna send it to the data guy at Kratos BI uh, Teams account. Well, I don't monitor that Teams account all the time. I monitor my other accounts. So I can make a small change to this. I can remove that from the template and I could type in my the email or the uh, Teams uh, that I want to show up on. So Chris Wagner at expertpcpros.com. Click on that. And then I click on save. Okay, it's gonna give me a little notification. It says your flow is ready. We recommend you test it right up here, right? So, uh, you know, th this is good. Another thing you can do is, oh, let me see if I can zoom in underneath Dax. Ah. Right here, there's a flow checker. You can run that. And it'll just make sure if you have any issues, it'll let you know them, okay? So I don't have any issues. It's a template. It's going to be pretty straightforward, okay? So everything is good here. Yes, your flow is ready to go. Got it. Okay. Now I need to test this out. I want to make sure that it works. So I am going to create a new email and I'm going to send it to the email address that I want to send it to. So data God at Kratos BI. And I'm going to go grab the, the I'm going to make an email. It's going to say, hey, there's a missing attachment, job failure. A new message, and I'm just going to put in some text here. You forgot to send the attachment in the last email. Power BI job refresh failed. Review the job, correct the issue, and rerun. Cancel the media on Monday. Find another time. All right. I hit send. I refresh my Outlook inbox. You should see a little box. Come on. It's going to go. All right. Email's out. It's been into my O36 or M365 account. Bing, bing, bing. I'm going to hit refresh on here to, to so I can see when the flow runs, okay? And boom, it's now it's down here and it's running. Ah. So I can see that it's running here. It's running. I hit some weird hot keys there, and that was odd. All right, so it's running. I can hit refresh again, and it succeeded. Okay. Oh, and look what I just got a text message. Boom. Look at this. <gasps> Here it is. Hey, Chris Wagner, you have an email from data guy Chris BI with a negative sentiment. Here's a snippet. Holy cow. That is awesome. So I, it worked. I got the notification. If it didn't work, I could go in and troubleshoot it by, by going to this run here, clicking on it. And I can, I can actually step through each step and see what happens, right? So you can see the inbox. You can even download what, 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 what was brought in. You can go down and see what came through, right? Like, okay, hey, all this content came through. Here's the output in plain text, right? So I could, I could go through. I could see this email sort. So it's, it's just kind of shortening it up. Here's where it's analyzing it. Oh, look at this. You can see like an 83% negative, 
uh, 15% neutrals, 2% chance that it's positive. All right, so that's a, and here's the big one here. Overall text segment is, sentiment is negative. All right. And then I could go in and I could check my condition because I could see that it succeeded. And then I could see that I, that it, uh, it, it went down this path, right? It didn't go down the no path. It went down this path. And I could see the message that was pushed out that, or the message that went in as well as the output as the message link and the conversation. So just uh, fantastic, amazing. As you can see, super easy to get up and running. Do you find that useful? I know, I know Dax was so blown away. He passed right out. Um, uh, I, I was I was blown away by this because I get tons and tons of email from all sorts of amazing people, um, but also lots of spam and stuff that like kind of you don't want to focus in on. But if you got something you know that needs your attention and you need to do something on, it, especially if it's a like a negative thing, like oh that big meeting was canceled and you need to adjust. Hey, this Teams notification thing is fantastic. Do check it out. Um, if you've done this. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, post in the comments down below. Hit me up on uh, Twitter or X or LinkedIn. It's probably a better place for me. But do let me know how this worked for you. I was blown away by it. Are you using other things in Power Automate? Using Power Automate to refresh your Power BI reports or rerun your fabric flows? I know that people are experimenting with that too. So uh, let me know. Love to hear what you're doing inside of Power Automate. Uh, thanks so much. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.